The success of Devin Allman is rocketing. He's officially a headliner on main stages across the country. One of those legendary venues he often plays brings back special memories with his dad, singer-songwriter Greg Allman. The Ryman is a, a, the mother church in Nashville. It's one of the, you know, the most esteemed venues in, in the country. And the first time I ever played there was with my dad. And he said, uh, hey man, at the end of the show, we're gonna bring up a friend of mine and you guys can have like a little guitar duel. And I was like, great, like who's, who's coming by? And he goes, oh, it's Keith Urban. I was like, great, I mean, this guy is, he'll just, you know, he's such a slayer. Uh, what a great guitar player and we had a lot of fun. Almond Betts Band is also selling out venues around the world. What's exciting, uh, it's, been, it's been a crazy few years with the Almond Betts Band and the, the Almond Betts Family Revival has been growing. And then I've got my first solo record coming out. It's the first one in eight years. The solo band is ramping up for that. We're doing three different tours of Europe. Uh, Almond Betts Band is going to Japan for the first time, which is exciting. I've always wanted to go and we got selected to play at Fuji Rock this year, which is really cool. I've always, I've always wanted to play Fuji Rock, so it's a, it's a big bucket list check. Right after doing uh, Jazz Fest, which was another big bucket list, it was, um, it was really an honor to play Jazz Fest and pay tribute to Dickie Betts. Devin Allman is now a headliner. Yeah, it's pretty wild to, uh, to think about it, but um, some festivals were headlining, and you know, I remember starting and begging my way onto certain festivals, you know, let me play at noon for you know 300 bucks, and that was really what happened. So much has changed for Devin Allman. Life is pretty sweet now. I work when I want to work, and I don't have anyone in the industry that tells me what to do, and that's such a blessing. You know, I don't have pressure to go on tour. I don't have pressure to make a record. I can go on tour when I want to go on tour. I can choose the dates I want to take. I can make the records I want to make. It's such a blessing to have full creative control um, and full control of my business and, and, and my flow. Devin celebrated his 50th birthday with the world record See It All Tour. See It All with Donovan Frankenreiter. That was, that was the, the quickest blur of a tour ever. We played all 50 states in 49 days consecutively nonstop. And that song was kind of written preemptively knowing that, that we would go see it all. So it was really tongue in cheek, it was a lot of fun. The video was shot at the factory actually on one day where they didn't have a concert there and, and we built a video wall and shot a bunch of kind of travel themed visuals behind us and it was a lot of fun. Showing a softer side, one release that surprised his fans and welcomed many new fans is the Maggie Rose and Devin Allman duet of the timeless Jackson Brown song, These Days. I had invited Maggie Rose to be part of the Revival Tour a couple years ago, and she called me and she said, man, we should do that Jackson Brown song that your dad did uh, these days. And I was like, wow, that, that would be really cool. Um, it's one of my favorite songs. These days I sit on the cornerstone Count the time in quarter tones to ten My friend And now I believe I've come to see myself again Devin recently finished recording his new album So you're feeling down and out it's a really fun record. It's a different record for me. It's kind of a R&B funk record. I think it's the first time where I've ever made a record and, and didn't concern myself with it fitting in a, a blues category or a blues rock category. The new record, it's called Miami Moon. I went down to Criteria Studios in Miami to, to make this record. Uh, Criteria Studios is where the Allman Brothers made about 10 records, including Eat a Peach and Seven Turns and just some, some fantastic 
Allman Brothers records were made there. It's just dripping with history and mojo, and I always wanted to record there. Devin literally does it all, and has his own record label as well. Yeah, I started Create Records in 2018, and I really started the label, it's, it's a labor of love. It's, it's really meant to be kind of a farming system for younger artists. You know, I, I realized that the days of record labels signing artists and actually nurturing them through their career, they're just done. I've signed a few artists, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's a lot of work, it's scary, you know, but uh, it, it's really fun to help cultivate careers with, with others. And I don't know, I think by the time I leave the earth, if I could have gotten 10 or 20 or 30 careers off the ground, I'll feel like I've given back to an industry that, you know, that really took care of me. He is also the curator and producer of the Almond Betts Family Revival Tour, which started out as a one-night tribute to his father Greg's passing. It was so successful that it's now an annual national tour. It was one show at the Fillmore. It was easy to, you know, come up with the set list and, and the guests were all my friends and, you know, it was a pretty easy experience to curate. Nowadays, it's, it's a coast-to-coast -coast tour. Like, we don't want people to get bored with the set list or the guests, so I'm still curating it. I'm, I'm still the producer. It's, uh, it's something that starts a few weeks after the tour is over. We start it up for the next year and we start uh, getting things booked up and uh, getting guests secured and you know, start thinking about maybe a different angle for the set list, you know. Um, last year it was really, you know, kind of half Greg Allman songs and half Diggy Betts songs. During some performances, there are times when Devin feels his father Greg's spirit around him on stage. It's a weird thing because if you think too much about those kinds of things, you, you almost tend to kind of drift away from the job at hand, which is I need to sing this song to the best of my ability. Um, but some, some nights I feel dad there, some nights I kind of ask him to be there, maybe it's not the best night and it's like come on man get me through get me through this you know um, I want to do you proud you know um, a lot of times there is a, an instant lamenting for me because I I just wish that dad was up there singing Melissa instead of me the deepest dreams of drips of fly to sweet Melissa Devin inherited his dad's entire guitar collection, some of which he plays on tour. These were a couple of the main ones. When he would play Melissa, Midnight Rider uh, live, he would use these two guitars the most. This is a, a Johnny Cash model Martin acoustic, and this is a Gibson J200 and the uh, Tobacco Burst. The Almond Betts Family Revival Tour's stellar reviews continue, and it's selling out main stages across America. I'm just, I'm loving being able to MC a moment for people to reclaim their youth and go back and, um, and, and re-experience some of those feelings. Mm -hmm. 